Good morning, happy Sunday everybody and welcome. Thank you for joining us in this beautiful Sunday. On behalf of the founder and general seer, I greet you all in the name of Jesus and welcome to the Holy Ghost in Christ Ministry International, aka All El Becca Ministry. The theme of our ministry is Jesus Finished Work Movement. Our mission is to preach the good news and the love of Jesus Christ with the power of the Holy Ghost to all nations. We also work together with all the churches through indoors and outdoors programs. Our main goal is to bring sinners to Jesus Christ and the Kingdom of God. We meet first Sunday of every month to worship and take Holy Communion. Church planting and making leaders are all included. A place where everyone is welcome to meet God and make their supplications through Jesus Christ and the Holy Ghost. If you are led to be support to our mission, please follow the link on Facebook that you are watching from. Thanks and God bless you for listening and joining us. If you want to contact us, contact us through our uh, Phone number 253-229-0556 and the email address holyghostd2005 at gmail.com. You can also watch us from Facebook with the title uh, Paul L. Baker Ministry. And please let's welcome Paul L. Baker. Amen and amen and amen. People of God, it's always pleasant to be in front of you by sharing the word of God. As today is last Sunday of the month, the seventh month, July, July 2021, which I believe the good God is about to do greater works today. The Sunday, I believe, by the leading of the Holy Spirit, the Holy Ghost, we shall overcome whatever obstacles that the devil brought on our way with hope with faith with belief we shall overcome trials tribulation temptations you name it we are more than conquerors with assurance we have conquered the devil I greet the body of Christ my senior generous my ranks and my juniors that are coming up you guys are very special you have to be careful those that are coming behind you 
God's ways and our ways are not the same. Neither our thought. He uses everything equally according to his own way. As you have seen on the screen, we are still continuing with the topic listed there. Let's pray. Sweet Holy Ghost, it's your time. I'm just a vessel. Use me unto your own glory. In the name of Jesus, with the blood of Jesus, I open this moment. Let your name be glorified, Jesus. The Holy Ghost is here always. Use me to reach your people. Anything that is not of you, Holy Ghost, take control over it now. Let the powers of darkness be overthrown. I command you, Lucifer, and your holy angels to vanish, to move, to go far off these premises now because the word of Yahweh, the word of Jesus, and the power of Holy Ghost is at work. Let the holy angels that are assigned to this ministry, let them begin to do their work now. I activate you, holy angels, in the name of Jesus. Take over the atmosphere, take over the air, take over the media that I'm using to preach the gospel. Every distraction, we subdue it, we cancel it now in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, my grace. Boshotoriha masata. Roboshoto koriha masita riha masanta. Roshotorihama kashitoriha sitoriha masanta. Lucifer, hear me and hear me well. All your strategies. All your devices, all your retaliations, all your orders, all your assigned agents, hear me and hear me well. With the blood of Jesus and by the power of the Holy Ghost, I rebuke you now. I put you to the dry place. I silence you in the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost, it's all yours. Holy Ghost, take over. Thank you. In Jesus' name, amen. My brethren, saints, part three of the power of establishing dreams, vision. This topic is a topic that is so broadened that when you are empowered with insight, with revelations of the Holy Ghost, you don't want to end it because it opens your eyes every man every woman on earth has a vision we all carry vision dreams in our in our being as we are the image of god when god created the earth he finished everything he gave us authority he gave us power to rule but your ruling and your season time we come all you need to do is to develop your inner man dream 
is to walk in line with what God opened your eyes on. Why you were taking that beautiful sleep. Why you were asleep. God opened your eyes on so many things. The visions, the dreams that God opened your eyes on for you to understand clearly your purpose of being on earth. All of us has a purpose and that purpose needs to be fulfilled, to be accomplished. But the devil, the devourer, the deceiver is always around. But I have a good news for you. For you to have a better dreams, for you to have a solid dreams, you have to walk in Jesus. God loved the world. He knows that the, rebel, the, 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 the accuser rebelled against him. He betrayed our first mom and dad. Adam and Eve. They are our spiritual moms. Unto he deceived them. And by deceiving them, it followed. And up to today, as I'm here speaking, the devil is still deceiving people. He's still telling people, don't you dare think that that thing that you have been praying for, that thing, that dreams will come to pass. I'm here to tell you, tell the devil. Say, the devil, you have no business with me. I am a candidate of Jesus. I am the virtue of the Holy Ghost. I am covered with the blood of Jesus. That which God spoke into my human, into my being, into my inner man, that vision, that dream, we come to past. People of God, dreams makes the world goes smooth. It makes what we are enjoying, this technology that we are enjoying today, the world is so devastated that we are going through restrictions because of the virus. But this technology was created, was invented by one man's dream. And we are all enjoying, be it is universal. You can use it of whatever purpose. That is the benefit of a dream. You have a dream that will benefit humanity. The dream that God told you about is not just for your own personal gain. It's for the benefit, something that will benefit humanity. Something that will make human beings feel happy, feel love, feel hope when all hopes are gone. I have last Sunday I was glad what Yahweh mandated me to do. It was not easy challenging because when it comes, as I said last week, that when it comes about Naming God's genera is not a child's play, just as a little man I am. More like when he told you, he asked you to already name somebody that is already established in his dream, to just bring a confirmation. That was a heavy challenge. That was my first public assignment. Dealing with the devils, dealing with the household demons, those ones are something that when you are called by God, when God empower you, he told you that I have called you to overturn, to destroy the works of the devil. That one is part of our journey, is part of our movement, is part of our life. We go through some ups and downs, fighting the devil more when it comes about territorial demons, household demons. Those are demons that they know you already before you were born because you met them in your family. You met them in your country. They were already there. So they know you're in and out. But you can only overcome those powers. 
You can only overcome those demons. You can only over overcome those satanic altars with the power, with the blood, with you accepting Jesus. Let me tell you, the Bible says when the foundation is destroyed, what will the righteous do? You can't build a better foundation. You can't build a skyscraper on a rotting foundation. Let me tell you, we are crying all over. You are crying all over. If you have a vision that is not grounded with the orders of God, if you have a vision that God is not built upon, is not built upon a solid rock, that vision will die. More especially, there are people, their dreams are being empowered by demons. When Satan empower your dreams, you are always doomed for corruptions. You can't take corruptions and fight corruptions. What am I saying here? You can't gain power through the works of the devil. You can't gain authority through the works of the devil and try to fight him. The devil is a corrupt being. The devil is a deceiver. You can only succeed in your dreams. You can only succeed in your vision when you are in Jesus. When you build your vision upon the rock of Jesus. When you build your dreams upon the rock of Jesus. When Yahweh is in your dreams, you have a better assurance. Even the devil, I'm not saying the devil will not try. The devil will try, but the devil will put to shame because you have a better foundation. Let's see. I'm just taking you back to just few verses. Establishing your visions, your dreams. Let's open to Genesis 35 again. Last Sunday, I read it. I didn't explain much. But today, the Holy Ghost wants us to dive into it. You are there. You have a vision. You have been praying for too long. Ask it. Don't say you are innocent of this. We all have our third windows. We all have a lot of stuff. Let's read from Genesis 35, verse 4 to 5. Again, let's see. So, verse 4, Genesis 35. So, verse 4. So they gave Jacob all their pagan idols and earrings, and he bound them under the great tree near Shechem. Verse 5. As they set out, a terror from God spread over the people in all the town of that area. So no one attacked Jacob's family. When you have a legal ground, when you have an access point that the devil will use to attack you, why did Jacob say, you guys have to put everything let me tell you all of us when you want to establish your dream you have to focus just focus on what god told you jacob when jacob left his house when the mama the mom sent him away because esau esau is not just a human being esau is that battle Esau is that sickness. Esau is that poverty. Esau is that challenges that you are fighting today. You may not have Esau in your family. You may not have Esau, but there are similar Esau's. There are problems that are facing you. When Jacob stepped one ahead by moving to go to another side, he got an encounter with God, and God spoke to him. He got it in just speak to him he slept he was so tired and he had a dream when god spoke to him god told jacob 
everything that will happen to him that is of him Yahweh, everything that will happen to him that God will bring to pass. Jacob had a beautiful dream. He said, I didn't know that God was in this place. I didn't know. Now God is telling you that dream. Don't give up on that dream. God is in it. God spoke to you years and years back. It might take long. It might take years. All what is happening to me. Can you just imagine? From 2005, when Yahweh called me, I began to say, it will come to pass. I asked myself, is this really real? But thank God, when the Holy Ghost is empowered by your dreams, when the Holy Ghost is in you, if any if people don't believe in you, if any if the whole world don't believe in you, but as long as you have Him, as long as you have the Holy Ghost in you, He brings it to assurance. He makes it for you to know clearly that yes, my son, my daughter, don't give up your dream. That dream is real. Um, I didn't call you for people to rally around you so that you may believe. No. Sometimes when God gives you a dream, He wants you to be by yourself. He wants you to be by yourself so that you can understand. Stop moving by the crowd. Stop moving by the multitude. People are being distracted so much because they want the approval of men. They want the approval of the populations. Don't be carried away. Those people that will say, hey, 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 tomorrow they will say, we don't know. We Let's begin to check. Jacob was focused on his dream. God told him, he said, Jacob, now the dream, the, 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 the word that I spoke to you, it will surely come to pass. It takes him years. The Bible says he works for 14 years. Oh, Makuri, but that was very long time. He works for his desire. Can you just imagine? Why did God choose Jacob? Because God wants to use Jacob for a generation. God wants to use Jacob to set up a whole nation. I don't know what God told you, but I'm here to announce to you, you are not by mistake. You are not here because you're supposed to know God made you to be that way so that he can mold you he can bring the best out of your life there are something that God's put in you no one will destroy it it may be tarry but hold on to it Jacob wants to establish he fulfill everything he was in a messy situation his fa his father-in-law was so messy he didn't pay attention let me tell you when you have a dream don't fall for the distractions just move forward and walk with the Holy Spirit he will give you insight he will give you wisdom Jacob didn't carry it away he knew what he wanted because why God said to him, God spoke something to him. He said, I will bless you. I will be with you wherever you go. Yes, he, his desire, he saw somebody he liked so much. He said, this one, I don't know, but this particular woman, there is something in him. When God told you about that particular vessel, when God told you about that particular something, don't give up. Just hold on to it. It might be tarry because the devil know that that woman, Rachel, had a Joseph, oh, carry her back. Joseph is in that Rachel's womb, the person that will bring Israel to a particular rest, the person that will make Israel to be a Israel, the person that will make Israel to be known all over the world. He did give up what God told you, hold on to it. People may not like that person. People may discourage you. They may say everything about you. His lifestyle, his character. But just hold on to it. You, they may not like him, but you like him because God whispered to you. What God whispered to you? My brother, my sister, hold on to it. Don't give up. There is a king in that womb. There is a king in that 
particular person there is deliverance in that particular place that you are just keep on pressing Jacob didn't give up he pressed on he pressed on he said though no, this is not the person that I want I don't want Leah I want Rachel because God already oh carry Habasoto when you struggle for something dress assured that there is victory when you struggle for something Dress assured because the devil knows that that seed, that particular thing that you are struggling for, that particular thing that you already said, I don't care the time, I don't care what people may say, just hold on to your vision, just hold on to your dream, don't give up, stop looking for men to approve you, stop looking for your family to approve you, they may not like it, they may say all type of words, but you know what God told you, the dream is between you and God. That dream that God told you, it was between you. Maybe you told somebody and they discourage you. They say, look at him. Are you sure? Are you sure? Yes. Tell the person, yes. I'm quite sure. I'm not here for you to approve me. He that called me already approved me. Jacob knew that the very household you are in that particular country. You are in that particular neighborhood. You are in that particular situation. You are not there by mistake. God placed you there for a purpose. There is something in there. <laughs> The whole world will come against you, but rest assured. Jacob stood there for 14 years. He knew, he saw that I am in a situation that is not of God. Sorry, that the works of God is limited and the works of Satan is on a high. That is not your business. Just hold on to the dreams until you get what you want. Oh, until you get what you want. That's why Jacob, Jacob said, you know what? You guys don't know. You don't know my father-in-law. You don't know the riches that I want. Rachel has something that will bring my dream to success. That will bring my dreams to reality. What am I saying? You as a father, don't give up your son. Don't give up your son. Jacob knew that God said something to him. That one that God told him, one day, one day, will bring a laugh. They will bring a celebration. We bring jubilation to his family. He said, I want to reach it. Don't just accept because you want to get tired. Hold on to it. Because it came from your inner man. Your inner man. You had peace that this one, this particular person, this particular nation, this particular organization, I will be in charge of this particular country. I will be the president for it. Don't give up on that dreams. You know, I don't know who I'm speaking to. God told you that you may be a leader one day. Don't give up. Just hold on to it. Just hold on to it. Don't allow anybody to distract you. It may be long, it may be rough, it may be hard. Don't give up, just hold tight. Just hold tight until you get what you want. They may give you counterfeit, they may try to distract you. Don't carry it away, just move forward. Give me away, let me go. You don't know what I want. I'm, I'm not going to discuss it to you, but what I want until I get it. Jacob stood firm and now after everything he got what he want he moved the evil snake 
Last Sunday, I read it. Even when you know the story, he even ran away. He hide. He ran. He, he, he sneak. He move. He escaped from his father-in-law with all the two sisters, all the kids. Even Rachel was pregnant. The Bible said everything. Jacob just moved with everything. He he used his own divine wisdom. He might look foolish to you but god uses the foolishness of this why of this one to confirm the wise it might look crazy it might look stupid but what am i saying to you that stupidity that crazy god will be with you because he said it he spoke the word to you and it will come to pass don't let anybody to take your dream from you don't let anybody to discourage you the Bible said, God appeared to him again. That tells me that the first, God appeared to him when he was moving. The second, when after he reconciled. Your dream is about to come to light. But all what you need to do, when you read, when you begin to read, Jacob make sure he reconciled with his older brother. He reconciled. What am I saying to you? God is about to take you to a higher height until you reconcile. Those people that you have already hurt, those that you step, let me tell you, when a man is coming up, when a woman is coming up, you hurt some people, you discourage some people. Yes, but Jacob said, yes, Esau, I Esau, is mad. Esau is not happy about me. I want to go to a rest place. I want to go to an assurance place. He makes sure he reconciled. He reconciled. He reconciled. The Bible say after they gave him all the idols, all the pagan stuff, I don't know what you are carrying. I don't know what is a contact point that the devil wants to use to bring you down. My brother, my sister, it's time for you to put it out. That pride, it's time for you to say bye-bye to him. That's too many, you are focused on to making wealth using the name of god using jesus just to make it for your own way it's time for you to put it back that way the devil will not have any legal ground we not have anything against you whatever things that may hold you back jacob make sure the bible says jacob claims himself when you read from verse when you read from 35 you see he claims he changed himself jacob said i want to go to my rest with a clean my the bible said he cleansed himself that means all the guilt all the errors all the mistakes all the i will make it by force he make sure he cleanses it because why he don't want that one to fight him when you have the devil's property are in your camp when you have that thing that belongs to the devil the devil may take advantage of it you may try but the devil knows that he he has a contact point that contact point that you have in your family that satanic altar that satanic demons that witchcraft that marine spirit in your family is hard time to pronounce him publicly you have been praying secretly god knows but shame the devil publicly. Shame him publicly. Don't be ashamed. Shame him publicly. Don't be ashamed. That is the beginning of your dreams. That will bring light to your dream. You have been praying secretly, yes. But time for you to say, Oh, Kari Habasata, you spirit of demon, just like God called me from day one. God opened my eyes spiritually, physically, about the strong man in my family that cast a last spirit. God opened Put my eyes page by page. Ah, last Sunday it was pronounced publicly. The Bible says, He that covereth his head shall not prosper. You want to prosper in the Lord, you have to shame the devil. Shame the devil. See, see what God did. Let's see. Verse 9, 
now that Jacob had returned from Pandorama, God appeared to him again at Bethel. God blessed him, saying, Your name is Jacob, but you will no longer be called Jacob. You will not, you will not be called Jacob any longer. From now, your name will be Israel. God renamed him Israel. I don't know. You see how good it is? By shaming the devil. The Bible said after Jacob collected and gave everything that belongs to the devil, he bumped down, he buried it. The terror, that thing that had, was chasing you, came to a stop immediately. They are fighting you because they know that they have their property. It's time for you to put it aside. It's time for you to say anything that has been ruling in my family. I will put it aside. It's just like when you are head of a country, like a president. As I said, yes, God ordained us as a minister of the gospel that we should pray for people that are in authority. That is our mandate. It's not for us as a gospel minister to carry politics on our back. People carry politics on their back because they want a shortcut. They want that I have influence with the president. I have influence with that minister. I have influence with that parliamentarian. You are bringing hindrance to your ministry. You are bringing calamity to your ministry. Why have you done that? You are not called to be publicly. Yes, you are supposed to be in you we are political animals but why because i want i want by so doing i will have more members why because you want your know, people will come to your church just because okay let me come to the to, 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 to that church that way maybe this man will connect me i will get a better job my dear brothers and sister you are killing yourself when you have jesus when you have the holy ghost when you have yahweh nobody will stop you don't build your foundation on a rotten rock don't build your foundation don't make a contact don't make a connection that is not of God. Trust God. God will connect you. When you are with God, when you stand in front of men, they will see you. They will favor you. They will give you what belongs to you. Don't try to use shortcuts. Don't try to use shortcuts. It's too long, Yahweh said. The body of Christ carried away. He's leading. They have dreams. Yahweh told me, just imagine David, successful, his son, build a temple for God. But you are around that man, you are around that man's vision just because you prophesied to a particular candidate. Why he was a candidate, you prophesied. You want to lord him now. You want to control him now. You want to put it under subjection. You want him, whatever you tell him. No, 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 no. You are mistaken. Those people are meant for everybody. Not just for you. That is their dream. That is their vision. That's what God called them for. To govern the whole world, to govern the whole nations, to govern people that are righteous and not righteous. Our business is to preach the gospel. People of God, let me tell you this. When Yahweh opened my eyes to see, I saw the respect that men and women of God we have. We are spiritually rich. We are spiritually blessed as well as physical. But today, we have allowed politics to make us like a little, like a laughing stone. Let me tell you, when God told me, he said, tell these people that it's time for them to 
focus on what I have for them. Let me tell you, the president knew what you are called for. Can you just imagine the president go and sat under you to preach the good news to him? Is that not a big war? Is that not a big success? They need you. The president needs you. He needs our service. He needs our guidance. But you have affiliated yourself with a particular, yes, we all belong to different, different political parties, but keep it secret. Even myself standing here, I belong to a political party. But when it comes about because my position, I be careful. Because I may be speaking to somebody that is not even in my party. But if I associate myself so much, that is what is happening. Today when you look at the social media, people are laughing, men and women of God. How they have been led to themselves so much in the name of politics. Just because you want big names to associate to your ministry. Corey Habasanta, you are mistaken. You, that woman of God, you, that man of God, don't associate your success to any man. Let Jesus be your associate. Let the Holy Ghost be your associate. Let Yahweh be to be around you. When Yahweh is around your ministry, when Jesus is around your ministry, when the Holy Ghost is around your ministry, men and women will run. Stop looking for shortcuts to fill your ministry. Stop looking, stop looking for shortcuts. Stop making ways for you to reach up when your time is not ripe yet. Let's be careful. Jesus said, let's give Caesar what belongs to Caesar and give God what belongs to God. Part three, establish your dreams. Establish your visions on a solid foundation. That dream, people will see the dream and will believe in you. They will believe in you that yes is of God. I may end this service. Before I go, I'm encouraging you. It's time for you to put anything that is not of God that the devil wants to hold you back. Shake it off. Break it out and move forward and look unto God. Amen. Before I go, I've come to the end of the service, very short. Before I pray, if you are watching me, you want to give your life to Jesus. You may pray this prayer here after me. Say, Lord Jesus, I am a sinner. You know me by name. You know me by character. I surrender to you today. Whatever sin that wants to hold me back, I give it up. Holy Ghost. Fill me. Say, Holy Ghost, take over me, for in Jesus' name. Congratulations and welcome to the kingdom of God and welcome to Jesus' kingdom. I pray. Let the Holy Ghost fill you now and direct you to a place of worship that you may grow. Amen. I pray. The authority be invested in me. You hear where in the name of your son's name, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, and by the power of the Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost! I pray for those that are sick right now. Those that are sick. I don't know what type of sickness that you are having. I pray and I rebuke 
that sickness right now in the mighty name of Jesus. You cancer disappear right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Deaf ears, I command you to open. Let the blind eyes open. Every dead spirit that has been haunting you, I rebuke it now in the mighty name of Jesus. Every satanic arrow, every satanic orders speaking against your life, I rebuke it now in the mighty name of Jesus. Holy Ghost, fill your people with healings. Fill them now with healings. Let your healing power flow. Let the healing power flow. Let the healing power take over them right now. I command that sickness to disappear. You sickness of all types. You sickness of all types. Infirmity. Hear me and hear me well. Go out of that vessel. Go out of that body now in Jesus' name. Let the blood of Jesus enter that person. As we are about to end, as today is the last Sunday of July, I pray that your dreams will not die. Your dreams will come to light in Jesus' name. Amen. People of God, I thank you all as we have come to the end of this wonderful service. If you are led by the Holy Ghost to support us financially, you can go through the Facebook. You may be able to see everything, the channel. You may be able to give us financial support. If you want counseling, you can reach us through the numbers and the email. You can watch this message on YouTube call for El Baker Ministry. Shalom. God bless you. See you for Sunday. It's a holy communion. Don't forget to bring your communion with you and we will partake together. For now, we are meeting here through online services until the Lord wants me to go out of my premises to go far that I will interact with more people. But for now, let's continue to pray that the world will come to normal, that this disease will vanish in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you all. Have a wonderful day. Bye for now.